Hi, my name is Teresa Kovlek, and today I am going to show you how I made these cute whimsical trees. So when I came across these trees, which look like this, it's a ceramic tree, and you can pick this up. Um, I picked mine up at um, Marshall's. So Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods is owned by the same company. And I seen it and I thought, oh my goodness, that would be a great either Charlie Brown tree or a Dr. Seuss tree. It's just a fun, whimsical tree. So I'm going to show you how I painted these two. And I'm actually going to do two videos today. So after watching this one, I'm going to paint one of the trees back here and, um, and show you how I did those. But let's go ahead and get started with this. So this is a ceramic tree. It does have a glaze on it. Um, you always have to use a non-porous surface. So if you use ceramic without the glaze, the ink will just go right in and then it won't work very well. So a couple of things that I'm using today is I am using the Ranger inks and I will have those listed below all the colors and I'm also using the sponge brush today and um, you can pick these up at your craft store and I'm using these little uh, dauber it's a dauber set and it's this one is made by Martha Stewart and they come in different uh, sizes and so these are all circles that I'm using. And let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my tree. So I'm going to take my sponge. I'm going to dip it in. I'm actually using an antique salt dish to, um, to put my inks in. But what I want to do is my sides first. And when you're doing your sides, Make sure you do the underneath of the leaf. And the reason I'm doing my sides first, you can see it's leaking on the other side. So we'll get that done. And just pull your ink down, turn it over, and go ahead and do the other side. And I haven't dipped my sponge. I'm still using the same sponge I originally dipped. And this is kind of a neat effect when it splashes down. And so you can get some really cool effects with the ink. So I'm just going to make sure that's touched up real good. The ink is still dry, uh, wet. And I can keep it still moving. So these are nice. They have a hole on the bottom. And I can hold it there with my thumb. Now I'm going to dip in to that ink. And I'm just going to bring it down. And I don't care if a little bit gets on the sides, but kind of want to have this going straight down. And, you know, you can give it different effects if you want. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just pull it on down. So that's good enough. And I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to dip into the ink and just take and pull it down. Make sure I do my edges. I just keep my brush, my sponge brush, I keep that moving so that my inks flow pretty nicely and that looks pretty good i get the most of it so i'm going to set this aside and i'm going to give it a quick dry with my heat gun so we can go ahead and put our polka dots on
And now what I'm going to do is take my little dabbers and I'm going to dip into the ink. And I have a paper towel here. It's folded. So you see how it has the uh, fold here. So when I press down, I'm not pressing all the way to the table. I'm just pressing down to make sure I don't have tons of ink on. Then I'm going to hold my tree flat. And the reason I'm going to hold it flat is I'm going to give my inks a second to dry. And it's as easy as that. So you can pick whatever colors you want. But what I was doing earlier is I was taking it, flipping it over right away, and doing the other side. And just kind of put them wherever you want. Now, the bigger dabbers leave the bigger circle. So, if you want just little circles, and you can see that one fell apart. Sorry, Martha Stewart. I've only used these a couple of times, so that's kind of sad. So I'm going to take another dabber, and I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to make some more circles. And get a little bit of that ink off. And I think this one might do the same thing on me. But let's give it a try. Now I do find with the inks that they do tend, because of the alcohol, it does tend to eat up brushes. So it could have possibly ate off the glue on the other side of these. So you can see I didn't quite let that one dry all the way because I'm trying to make it, you know, for you guys in real time. So let yours dry. Let yours dry and then turn it over and do the other side. But, you know, I just want to show you how I do it. So we'll go ahead and go back in. I'm going to pick up some of this purple. And I will have the colors listed below. And the only reason I didn't dab that purple off on my paper towel is it's already starting to dry up. So I wasn't real worried about it. And I think I like a little yellow on this too. The other thing you can do is you can go over top of circles. So wait till they're dry a little bit and then you can just go over top of them. You can go over top of them with a smaller circle. And if you don't like how it comes out, take your alcohol, wipe it down and you're good to go. So because these were a little bit wet, um, this tend to run a little bit. And this one here is where I splodged a big circle on top of a big circle. So I really should have done a little one. But this side came out pretty good. And so this one here, I can either fix this side by cleaning it down. Or I can come back in with my big circle and press right on top of it and it fixes it. So I'm going to let that dry down a little bit. Actually, I'm going to take the heat gun so I can set it up. So on this bigger one down here, I could fix that by coming back in with a little bit of that green. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And I have just a Q-tip here. And I came in, I had a little bit of green on my uh, Q-tip. And I actually wiped it off with that. I'm going to come in with the other side of the Q-tip. And just bring some of that green in. Or 
or I can take my sponge and just the corner of the sponge wipe it in a little bit and there we go pretty much fixed and if I dab that again it will fill it in I'm going to take the heat gun to it So there you go. Simple, happy little Charlie Brown trees or Dr. Seuss trees. Whoops. And super easy. You guys can do this. So if this tutorial was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That lets me know that you would like to see more of my videos. Uh, I will wait for these to dry down. A uh, couple days uh, if I was really in a pinch and I needed it for tonight I would take my heat gun to it really good and um, because it's ceramic I can do that with the heat gun dry it down really good but I, I prefer to let it dry for a couple of days then I'll put a coat of the varnish on it and I usually do two light coats and then I let it dry in between and then I'll come in with the UV sealer and then what this does is it protects the colors and even though you're gonna have this indoors and maybe on your dinner table or wherever um, you still want that UV protector on it so after the varnish is dry go ahead and put the UV on it and let that dry too so again thanks for joining me uh, again, my name is Teresa Kovlak. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, both under my name. And I will be put, putting out another video today. And it will be showing you how to do the trees in the background here. So again, have a great rest of your day. Happy painting.